Do you keep falling down there? Yeah. Hello, once again, I'm Cub Grills, along with my captain, my navigator down there, who keeps slipping down this hill. Um, right now, we're kind of starting right, we just started, we got dropped off. Let me start this way. At the summit up there, by a helicopter. And there was a nice little cabin. It's very quaint. I'm sure in the summer, where there is no snow on the ground like there is now, um, it, it opens up to the public, I, I'm sure. And uh, it is very nice. But unfortunately, uh, we couldn't stay there very long because we need to get down this mountain, which we did not know was going to be full of snow. But it is, and that's quite all right. Because uh, his dog, there's a dog turd right there. Oh, blah. Dude, I fucking hate that dog. That dog, was there was a dog, we don't, it was a wild dog, and uh, it, it was a little fucking wild cunt dog, and it lived up at the top of the mountain where we got just got dropped off by a helicopter, and now we're making our descent down this surprisingly snowy mountain. It's pretty much knee deep here. There are dog turds just littered about everywhere. It's quite disgusting, you have to watch your stepping. Be careful there, Captain. Be careful of the dog shit. This episode, we're going to show you how to survive a, a snow-filled mountain that's filled with knee-deep snow. Because apparently, that's when we just got dropped off. It was a mystery to us, and we have to just survive any way we can. Uh, we were told that there is an automobile waiting for us at the bottom of this mountain. Uh, so we're, we're headed down there now. Uh, this path is supposedly the way, though it's not. It, it, it's very deep still. It's very slippery. There's many hidden rocks, hidden crevices. My feet are already soaking wet. I can't even imagine them ever being wetter than they are right now. Not in a million years, I promise. What you have to do is always mind your footing. That is most important when there is snow everywhere. Because you don't know, you could be stepping into a crevice or a cre Holy shit! What the fuck was that? So dramatic. I'm just, I'm not dramatic. I'm just blazed out of my head right now. Smoked about a third of a blunt not too long ago. And then I started walking down a mountain like a jackass. Filming myself, probably my death. Hopefully not, because I'm Cub Grills. Hey, Cub. Survival hey, extraordinaire. I'm, I'm paying attention there, no, Captain. You're not. I'm the fucking survivor. No, no, see, the reason. Well, I, I probably shouldn't say. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Um, but I do need him as a companion. He is very useful, and I'm lucky to have him here. Captain, everybody, he's the captain. Wait, what's the only reason I'm, I'm here? I, because you're my, my captain. Oh god, you really hit my balls, you son of a bitch. Oh. Did I really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny, right? Uh -oh. Asshole. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. Anyway, <laughs> I've got three major rules in life when it comes to surviving. Number one, first and foremost, as we're not doing right now, is pressing on. We need to press on. Captain, that's why I'm here, to remind you, in a survival situation, you must press on. You're here as as the, the inexperienced person who I have to guide down this treacherous oh, mountain. I'm the inexperienced one. Right. Well, mind your footing, mind your footing and watch out for dog shit. Dear God. You see, that's not minding his footing. He banged his head on that stump. He, he's going down not even where there is, is, is rock to be seen. He's trying to create his own path. What you want to do is go the easier way where somebody already has gone and then just mind your footing. And just mind your footing and you can make it down absolutely no problem at all. You want to get up, Captain? Because you're supposed to go in front of me. That's the way the show works. Thank you. And now mind your footing. Mind it. Mind, mind it. it. Mind it. Just mind it. And press on. Mind your footing. Press on. Mind your footing only really counts when there is snow on the ground 
Not that you don't always have to watch your footing, but you have to be extra, extraordinarily careful when there's snow. Excuse my camera work. Um, because of the crevasses. The hidden crevasses, they could be hundreds of thousands of meters deep. You don't even know where they are, and you have to just be careful. That is what my dad bear taught me. That is why I'm Cub Grills. That is why I am the shit. Careful there, Captain. I can see your butt crack. You don't want to scare the viewers away. There you go. We love our viewers. Anyway, going down this steep part of the mountain. Shouldn't be too long till we get to the bottom. I uh, really haven't had too many obstacles yet to show you examples of what to do and what not to do. Um, but we have had a lot of fun making snowballs and, and throwing them at each other. Especially it's good for me because I'm way uphill usually. And then I can just boom, go paddle all that shit down there. Let's see if we can get them. Did that get you? Close. Damn. Close, but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Just such a beautiful view right now. Here. A, you can see a, a little lift right over there. A little lift. It's quite beautiful, quite beautiful. I think I might build a nice little vacation house right over there and live there uh, in the summertime. Or at least vacation there, because it's nice to get away into nothingness. Um, what I can show you an example of right now um, is how to kind of skim down this mountain um, at a quick pace. You just have to remember to mind your footing. Um, but you can clearly see a path there. So, if you just kind of hop down it, should have no problem. Uh, I'm going to have this on. And uh, you might witness my death, or you might witness a, a, uh, a spectacle to behold. Something fantastic. Here we go. Kind of hop, hop down here. Oh no! That was it right there. That's exactly what you don't want to do, especially with the camera in your hand. That will call an outtake. And let's not try and do that again. I'm gonna put this away until we get on safer ground. Fuck you, Captain.